Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo it's Leo speaking. I have today the immense pleasure to introduce you to a new version of MIDI layers, which is adding a sequences capability per layers, which is one of those features which is a game changing uh, feature. It really opens up a lot of possibility for MIDI layers. Before I continue, I would like to remind, as always, my viewers to subscribe, unless they've already done so, as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside AUM. We are going to create a MIDI channel, and we're going to search for layers. So let's type layers like so. There it is. So we're going to create also an audio channel, and why not? Let's bring up something like Synthmaster. Synth Master 2, which um, is a wonderful synth. Let's connect the two and let's ensure that the MIDI layers um, is using output number one to control um, Synth Master 2. Let's also connect my um, launch key MK349 to a MIDI layer so that I can control that directly. So let's choose a preset in Synth Master 2. Let's browse. For example, for a base, like so. And um, here we are. And let's choose a preset from here, something like um, uh, this uh, analog base. Why not? And let's decrease a little bit the volume, like so. So let's open up uh, a layers and um, let's add a layer, A1, and let's uh, press some keys on the keyboard. Really nice. So we have a base, which is controlled by the first layer. So let's adjust a little bit of things. So let's say that um, we want that layer to start from uh, perhaps um, this key here. So let's move these to this key. So I want to leave some space here. I will explain in a moment why. And we have uh, this, um, uh, this layer controlling the bass, perhaps just this octave, like so. Okay, now, nothing new so far, but um, let's wait uh, for a moment and I'll show you some more magic. So let's create another um, audio channel and let's search for uh, Synth Master 2, like so. Perfect, and let's connect it to output number two. And let's choose, um, um, why not, something like uh, a soft pad, like so. Okay, let's adjust also the volume a bit. Let's go back to layers and add another layer. Now let's move this up, like so and let's ensure that it cover the upper range. And let's go to options and change the output port to two. Now you can play the bass here on layer number one. And of course you can play the uh, soft pad on layer B1. Of course you can play the two together. That is MIDI layers as you knew it so far. Okay, let's show you some of the magic now. Let's activate layer A1. Let's go to option. Now you find this new icon here, which stands for sequencer. Let's open that up. And it's a sequencer. It's a sequencer for each layer. And I want to repeat that. You have a sequencer for each layer that you create in MIDI layers. That means that you can configure that layer to drive, in this case, Synth Master 2 instances driven by a sequencer, which is really, really nice. You can establish the number of steps here. So in this case, let's say two steps, maybe the, the speed, let's go by one eighth as note. Okay, we can link it to the host, okay, which allows you to 
ensure that you have that uh, sync, which is perfect, particularly if you're playing also with other um, AUV3. You, you activate it through here, okay? And then let's, um, let's actually clear the sequence like so, and then let's uh, create some notes. For example, click and hold here on zero and click on hold here corresponding to 12 so that we can create two notes, one octave above the original one, which is zero here. And here you find semitones. Now let's ensure also we have um, a start on bit on, which we do, which is really nice. So let's start our transport control in AUM and let's play some of the bass. So as you can see, I'm only pressing one note. And of course, I have a sequencer play on that layer, which is arpeggiating that bass for me. Which is really nice. And again, I can straight away use that to play with the other layers. Fantastic. This is starting to show capability of MIDI layers like what you will find in Arrangers, which is really, really nice. And there are not a lot of applications quite unique in the iOS space. Now, let's add another audio channel and let's search for something like um, Hammerhead. Really nice drum sound from Hammerhead. Let's connect it to layers and to output number three. And let's reduce a little bit um, the volume, stop also the sequencer. We don't need that inside Hammerhead. Okay, let's go back to layers. Now let's create another layer and let's make it overlapping the first layer like so. Let's go to options. We set the, the output port to three. Okay, let's test it a little bit. Yeah, we have sounds there, which is really nice. Let's go to the sequencer. Let's create another sequence. Let's activate the sequencer for that layer. So we do that like so. We link it to the host as well. We clear the sequence. And then we go here where you see the symbol of notes. We click on it and we select the scale to be GM drums. Really nice. Let's set four steps like so. The speed one eighth, but you can choose different speed. And let's create a pattern. So let's start it's very simple. Click and hold that. Click and hold that. So let's test it. So he's playing kick drums here and snare drum there. Okay, let's add something else like so. And of course, you can do things like change the velocity of each step, the length as well, which I will show you in other tutorials as well. So let's try. Fantastic. Now I have drums sequences on that layer C1. So let's play with them. Absolutely great, but there is way much more. So let's duplicate this instance of Synth Master 2. Let's connect that to layers output number four. Let's change the instrument, perhaps uh, let's go for um, something like a bell sound, like so. Um, let's choose a soft bell. Let's adjust the volume and let's go back to layers and create another layers. And let's make that overlapping the B1 layer where we have the soft pad. We change the options to ensure that the output port is number four, where the new um, instance of Synth Master um, 2 is listening. So let's try. Very nice. Now, let's go to the sequencer. Oh yes, we can have another sequencer running a link to the host. Really nice. Let's choose the number of steps and also the speed. I'll stick it to one eighth. Let's change the scale. This time, let's go for fixed notes. 
which is really nice. And also let's make it monophonic because I don't want repetition of notes because I'm pressing chords um, on the other layers. So let's uh, clear the sequence like so. And let's um, build something with X note, perhaps a C, a G, an F, and a G again. Okay, so let's try and see how that sounds. Let me decrease the volume of the uh, pad so you can hear more the bells. Fantastic, fantastic. And I'm really enjoying this is such a a good addition to MIDI layers. So, but it doesn't stop there. So let's click and hold on the adding layers and add a mute control layer. And let's add it to this scene only. Let's move this up of uh, a range like so, so that I can hit it with uh, my uh, launch key keyboard. And let's go to this layer where we have uh, the bells and uh, let's change the muting group to two. Okay, and we do the same also for the drums. Let's change the muting group uh, to two, which is already on two. Perfect, let's check that uh, B1 is on muting group one, like so. And um, also that A1 is on muting group one, which it is. So if, you, if I now press some keys on the keyboard, I can mute group one and I can unmute it. And I can do the same for D1, okay? And actually, let me check again that this is group two. Okay, perfect, it should be group two, because I want these two to be muted and unmuted at the same time hitting this key. Now, Paul has also added a fantastic new features on the settings, which allows you to do a quick switch of the mute groups, which are activated as you are playing. So I'm going to hit now um, this key, to hide those two layers and I'm going to play. And at some point I will hit that key and those two layers will come alive and will start to play. As you can see, it opens up a lot of new functionalities. You have a completely different experience in using MIDI layers. You can create very sophisticated setup, which drives multiple instances of a UV3 in AUM, inside AUM, and you can create live arrangements with multiple um, sequencer running. If you think about some of the keyboards like the Montage, the Core Chronos, etc., etc., they all have uh, limits on number of multiple ARPs. Well, this one doesn't. Of course, there are limits on your device, but uh, you can create an ARP, a sequencer for each of the layers. So imagine what else you can do. As you saw in this example, I've been driving drums and I've been driving multiple synth sources. Really, really nice. I also want to mention as well that an additional bank button has been added, uh, which allows you to expand the number of synths. That is something that was requested by a um, subscriber. So uh, that is there as well. I will do a lot of more tutorials and a complete series of of layers because it's a fantastic tool and I really hope Paul, I'm sure Paul will continue with the development because there's so many possibilities that these tools now open up to playing live for musicians. I hope you enjoyed this initial tutorial on the sequencer for MIDI layers and as always see you next time. Bye!